I've been getting this question a lot, so I thought I'd just make a video response this time. For those who don't know, Rojava is the northeast part of Syria. The word Rojava technically just means west in Kurdish because it technically falls west of Kurdistan. If you don't know, Kurds were historically deprived of their own state and divided among Syria, Turkey, Iran, and Iraq. Now, Kurds are not a monolith. However, I believe in the right to Kurdish self-autonomy. I myself am Syrian, Levantine, Shami, I'm Arab, with some of my family being part Kurdish and part Turkish. Um, so I, I, and I have nothing but love for all the humans in this. But we have to be honest with ourselves. Why would we fight or resist Kurdish independence? Don't get me wrong, nationalism in any form has its drawbacks. But we cannot struggle for representation in Syria while dismissing calls for Kurdish sovereignty. It's also kind of hypocritical to criticize Zionism while suppressing Kurds. You are welcome to disagree and message me what you think. With all of that being said, I critically support Rojava. I support decolonization and giving land back to indigenous communities all over the world. Seeing the violence that goes into forging and maintaining the state's monopoly of violence, I am a fan of their model of decentralized confederalism, genealogy, civilian councils. Kurds are also left to seek any assistance they can since Arabs usually see them as a threat. That is why I am less critical of their support from the USA and their pivot towards Assad in 2019 once Trump pulled out. It has to be addressed. Allegations that they are puppets or whatever should not be dismissed. But neither should the rights of Kurds to determine their own destiny. 